A general-purpose bomb is an air-dropped bomb intended as a compromise between blast damage, penetration, and fragmentation in explosive effect. Characteristics General-purpose bombs use a thick-walled metal casing with explosive filler composing about 30% to 40% of the bomb's total weight. The British term for a bomb of this type is medium case or medium capacity. The GP bomb is a common weapon of fighter bomber and attack aircraft because it is useful for a variety of tactical applications and relatively cheap. General purpose bombs are often identified by the weight. In many cases this is strictly a nominal weight or caliber and the actual weight of each individual weapon may vary depending on its retardation, fusing, carriage and guidance systems. For example, the actual weight of a U. SM-117 bomb, nominally 750 pounds, is typically around 820 pounds. Most modern air-dropped GP bombs are designed to minimize drag for external carriage on aircraft lacking bomb bays. In low-altitude attacks, there is a danger of the attacking aircraft being caught in the blast of its own weapons. To address this problem, GP bombs are often fitted with retardies. Parachutes are pop-out fins that slow the bomb's descent to allow the aircraft time to escape the detonation. GP bombs can be fitted with a variety of fuses and fins for different uses. One notable example is the Daisy Cutter fuse used in Vietnam War-era American weapons, an extended probe designed to ensure that the bomb would detonate on contact rather than burying itself in earth or mud, which would reduce its effectiveness. GP bombs are commonly used as the warheads for more sophisticated precision-guided munitions. Using various types of seeker and electrically controlled fins turns a basic iron bomb into a laser-guided bomb, an electro-optical guided bomb, or, more recently, GPS-guided weapon. The combination is cheaper than a true guided missile, but is substantially more accurate than an unguided bomb. Modern GP Bombs Modern American GP Bombs The Mark Chapter 80 series During the Korean War and Vietnam War The U.S. used older designs like the M117 and M118 which had an explosive content about 65% higher than most contemporary weapons. Although some of these weapons remain in the U.S. arsenal, they are little used and the M117 is primarily carried only by the B-52 Stratofortress, the primary U.S. GP bombs of the Mark Chapter 80 series. This class of weapons uses a shape known as Aero 1A, designed by Ed Heinemann of Douglas Aircraft as the result of studies in 1946. It has a length-to-diameter ratio of about 8 to 1, and results in minimal drag for the carrier aircraft. The Mark Chapter 80 series was not used in combat until the Vietnam War, but has since replaced most earlier GP weapons. It includes four basic weapon types Mark Chapter 81 nominal weigh 250 pounds. Mark Chapter 82 Nominal Weight 500 pounds Mark Chapter 83 Nominal Weight 1000 pounds Mark Chapter 84 Nominal Weight 2000 pounds Vietnam service showed the MK-81 firecracker to be insufficiently effective and it was withdrawn from you. S. Service. However, recently, precision-guided variants of the MK-81 bomb have begun a return to service based on new S. experience in Iraq after 2003, and the desire to reduce collateral damage compared to MK-82 and larger bombs. Since the Vietnam War, United States Navy and United States Marine Corps GP bombs are distinguished by a thick ablet fire retardant coating, which is designed to delay any potential accidental explosion in the event of a shipboard fire. Land-based air forces typically do not use such coatings, largely because they add some 30 pounds to the weight of the complete weapon. 
Fire is less a danger in a land-based facility, where the personnel can be evacuated with relative ease, and a building be the only loss. At sea, the crew and munitions share a facility, and thus are in much more danger of fire reaching munitions. Also, losing a munitions storage building on land is far cheaper than sacrificing an entire naval vessel, even if one could easily evacuate the crew. All Mk-80 bombs have both nose and tail fuse wells and can accept a variety of fuses. Various nose and tail kits can be fitted to adapt the weapon for a variety of roles. In the Mk-80 series bomb bodies is also used in the following weapons. BDU-50 A practice version of the Mk-82 bomb body. BDU-56 A practice version of the Mk-84 bomb body. Smart bomb kits dumb MK-80 bombs could be converted to smart bombs with attached kits. GBU-12D Paveway 2 Laser Guided. GBU-16B Paveway 2 Laser Guided. GBU-24B Paveway 3 Laser Guided. GBU-38 JDAM INS GPS Guided. GBU-32 JDAM INS GPS Guided. GBU-31 JDAM INS GPS Guided. Retarded versions MK-82 Snake Eye was a standard MK-82 with folded retarding petals. MK-82 Retarded was a standard MK-82 with a balute. MK-83 Retarded was a standard MK-83 with a balute. MK-84 Retarded was a standard MK-84 with a balute. Dot. Modern British GP bombs The British describe general purpose bombs as medium capacity bombs. The principal modern British bombs are 540 pounds and 1000 pounds, with a wide variety of thin, fuse, and retarder options. The 1000 pounds MC was developed from 1942 to replace the existing 1000 pounds GP bomb, initially using most of the components of the 1000 pounds GP it was decided to give it a new tail and was built with a half inch thick wall. Billings could be Amatex, Amatol, Minel, RDX and others. Actual weight was around 1,020 pounds. It was introduced to service in 1943 and about a quarter of a million produced by the end of the war. British General Purpose Bombs 40 pounds General Purpose Bomb produced 1937 to 1941. 50 pounds general purpose bomb not produced 120 pounds general purpose bomb abandoned project 250 pounds general purpose bomb replaced by 250 pounds mc in 1942 500 pounds general purpose bomb replaced by 500 pounds mc in 1942 1,000 pounds general purpose bomb, replaced by 1,000 pounds MC. 1,900 pounds general purpose bomb, 4,000 pounds general purpose bomb. Soviet Russian GP bombs The Russian term for general purpose bomb is Fugusna Yuravichna bomber and followed by the bomb's nominal weight in kilograms. Most Russian iron bombs have circular ring air foils rather than the fins used by Western types. In 1946 the Soviet Union developed a series of freefall bombs in four sizes 250 kg, 500 kg, 1,500 kg, and 3,000 kg and sharing a single nose and a single tail fuse. The bomb could be dropped from up to 12,000 meters and up to 1,000 kilometers per hour. The original 1946 series bombs had poor ballistic characteristics at supersonic speed, and the construction was fragile. As an interim measure, upgraded versions of the bombs were built with thicker walls and no nose fuse. The thick-walled version of the bombs were built until 1956. 
The 1954 series of high drag bombs was built in six sizes, 250 kg, 500 kg, 1,500 kg, 3,000 kg, 5,000 kg, and 9,000 kg. The smaller bombs had a single nose and a single tail fuse, while the larger weapons shared a single nose fuse and two base fuses. The Fab 9000 weapon was roughly comparable to the wartime Grand Slam bomb. It was used by Russian aircraft designers as a substitute for early nuclear weapons when determining the size and clearances of bomb bays. In 1962 a new series of streamlined low-drag bombs was introduced, designed for external carriage by fighter-bomber aircraft rather than in internal bays. They come in only two sizes, 250 kg and 500 kg. Both bombs have a single nose fuse. Both the 54 and 62 series designs remain in use. The most common of these are the Fab 100, Fab 250, Fab 500, Fab 750 and Fab 1500, roughly corresponding to the U. S. Mark Chapter 80 Series. These have seen widespread service in Russia, Warsaw Pact nations, and various export countries. Larger bombs with less streamlined shapes also remained in the Soviet arsenal, primarily for use by heavy bombers. In the Iran-Iraq War, Fab 5000 and Fab 9000 bombs were dropped by Iraqi Air Force to uplift 222 bombers, generally against large fixed targets in Iran. In Afghanistan in the 1980s, Soviet Tupolev 216 and Tupolev 222 M bombers used massive Fab 1500, Fab 3000 and Fab 9000 bombs to devastating effect during the Panjshir offensives. French GP bombs, France's GP bombs, marketed by Matron and built by the Société des Ateliers Mécaniques de Port sur Sambre made in a variety of types with nominal weights from 50 kg to 1000 kg. The most common of the 250 kg EU2 and T25, 400 kg T200, and 1000 kg BL4. Société des Ateliers Mécaniques de Pont sur Samba 125 kg General Purpose Bomb. SAM BLEU2. SAM PU2. SAM 25FE. SAM T200. SAM BL4. Other nations, other countries, including Pakistan, Turkey, Brazil, Chile, Israel, India, Portugal, Romania, Azerbaijan, South Africa, Spain, and Sweden, manufacture their own bombs, most of which are either licensed versions of the U.S. Mark Chapter 80 series are close copies.